people sometimes say, why you don't speak about love? And if I speak about love, then why you speak about love? Because I thought it was about Advaita. Then I don't know what to say. You know? You know, it's hard to speak about love, or we speak about here the divine love, spiritual love, uh, true love, because uh, our mind is conditioned by human love, or experience of love, like love in a relation, uh, love at all levels, uh, like uh, parents and children, uh, relatives, or um, or a love affair, uh, etc., or friendship. Mm? So there's a huge difference, and yet it is not so far away. Love is another word for oneness. The direct seeing that all there is is that one unique reality that cannot be described and without a second. So it is indivisible, it is seamless. So the moment you see um, people uh, and nature as your own presence, that seamless presence, uh, you are in that state of love. And only by experiencing it you will know and you will confirm it that you are in love with everyone and with everything. You are really, you have felt in love with the universe, you see? And even the love for forms that you would feel normally aversion or you would avoid, or people who are against you, you see? You feel also love for them. So this is not, not love as a virtue or love as a practice, or love as an effort. Huh? This is spontaneous love, without any effort. It's a state of consciousness, and moreover, it is consciousness itself. So when you are immersed yourself in this consciousness, that means when you are in the state of no mind, huh? then you feel a spontaneous, natural love for everything. Everything and nothing. Because there is nothing here, but you are in love. Hmm? That goes from the, the tiniest creature uh, to the supreme, uh, the love of God. You see? The word itself, uh, uh, whether you use the word prem, prema or bhakti, they belong more to the habitual terminology of the path of bhakti. Uh, you, you, you don't find these terms easily in Advaitic literature. Uh, so that's why people sometimes say, why you don't speak about love? And if I speak about love, then why you speak about love? Because I thought it was about Advaita. <laughs> then I don't know what to say. You know? <laughs> so I thank you for the question. Because that gives an opportunity to, to speak about it. Yeah. And therefore there is compassion. Where there is love, there is compassion. And there is no desire. And there is no expectation. And there is no interest. That is pure love. Hmm? The moment there is a calculation, an expectation, an interest, then it is mind. It is desire. It is your own conditioning. Love doesn't know itself. But now the, the word that we use, and, and that is the most universal um, 
the words, you know, in each language, huh? yeah? like I love you, etc. They can also be used to express the feeling of the Gyani towards anyone and anything. So when the Gyani says, I love you, be clear about the I and the you. There is no I and there is no you. Yeah? So in that sense, it is not a personal affair. Hmm? There is only love. But how to express that? Yeah? From one equipment to another equipment. Yeah? To avoid confusion. Yeah? So definitely then it is also I love you. And this is really what the Guru says, what God says, what the universe says, I love you. This life loves you. You can hear it from all sides. The trees are telling us, the river is telling us, the mountain is telling us. We can feel it, you know. The moment you withdraw a little bit from the human society, you go to nature, it's full of love. And that is another word to express this fullness, oneness. Hmm? In this love we disappear. Hmm? We know that we are no one and at the same time we, we are everything. When we speak about love, uh, we speak from the perspective, the, so to say, perspective of the manifestation. Because we live in a world of apparent diversity, multiplicity. Uh, we call it, we simply have say, duality. Hmm? Right? So, this word, love, uh, what we mean, this pointer, hmm? It is pointing to the seamlessness of all apparent forms. Uh, at the level of ap their appearances, uh, they are different, they are separated, they are divided. Uh, but at the, the true level, at the essential level, uh, they are only one, one and the same. So, therefore, love applies only to the saguna, that means Brahman manifested. There is no love as such in the Nirguna. Because love is relevant only when you have two or more forms. But in the formless consciousness, in the undifferentiated consciousness, love is not applicable. N-A. You see? We speak about oneness only uh, when we refer to the saguna, the manifestation, the creation. There is love. Hmm? So, you can say in other terms, like the, the nirguna, the undifferentiated consciousness, manifests as love. And therefore, this whole manifestation is only the overflow, the overflow of love and bliss from the Supreme Consciousness. That Anand, that is more relevant for the uh, indifferentiated consciousness. Uh, because it's all one. Love means two, in appearance. 